Hello, my little historians. Today is January 19th, 2021. We are going to go ahead and get started with what is going on today in social studies. So we are going to review the causes of the Civil War. So this is all what you should have learned or should remember just a little bit from last week. And then we're going to preview the Civil War. And then we're going to talk about your assignment. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, my friends, so last week we recognized the different causes of the Civil War. So I'm just going to go through each one and give you a little refresher of the different causes and how they kind of impacted the Civil War truly beginning. So as we know, there are multiple causes to the Civil War and each one of them kind of just slowly built up as we went through all of them. Now, there was one that ultimately just did it for them all, but we're going to go through all of them because it's kind of like a, a breaking point. It's just slowly bubbling up and slowly just adding more and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then finally the last one, the straw that broke the camel's back and just poof, the Civil War begun. So let's go ahead. So the first one is economies. Now the economies, let me see. Sorry, I lost my... I lost my verbiage there. OK, all good. So in the economies, we had them between the northern states and the southern states. Now, the northern states around this time, it was about the mid 1800s, they had changed from the farming industry to um, to just industry, like industrial. Uh, oh, gosh, lost the other word again. Uh, factories, <laughs> machines, all that good stuff, building things and not just farming. Now, in the south, they solely relied on farming and agricultural ag agriculture. Oh my gosh, y'all, I can't talk. Again, I must have had too much coffee. All my words are just bleh, everywhere. So to continue, in the southern states, because of their agriculture economy, they solely depended on slave labor, which eventually also becomes another cause of the Civil War. Now moving on to the next one, which is rights. Now, this isn't referring to human rights or people's rights or citizens' rights. It's referring to the rights of the states. Because as you know, we are divided. We're the northern and the southern states right now. And there were a lot of arguments about how much power the states should have versus how much power the federal government should have. Now, this is following after the writing of the Constitution. And so the southern states, they had actually felt that the federal government was taking away from their rights and powers to take care of business themselves. Which causes a growth issue, which is our next cause of the Civil War. So the growth of the United States continued to expand westward. Now, because the states had only certain rights and the federal government had certain rights, it kind of impeded the growth of the United States expanding westward because each state that was added to the country would shift the power of the north and the south. So their rights started to fluctuate depending on how many states they had. OK, then now we're finally on to slavery. So, I mean, we've gone through the bubbling point of economy being an issue. We've gone through the bubbling point of rights for the states being an issue. And we've gone through the growth of the entire United States being an issue as well. And now we're really getting to the, ooh, ooh, well, I think that's gonna blow up. Yeah, that's gonna blow up. Okay, so now we're on to slavery. This was the root, the root of many of the South's issues since they depended heaven, heavily, I was about to say heavenly, that depended heavily on it for their farms. Now in the South, typically you would walk around, you couldn't really walk around in the South without seeing plantations after plantations. I mean, the South had huge amounts of land with these big old mansions and a huge plantation of crops behind it. Now, these people, there wasn't enough people to do it. So unfortunately, the South depended on slave labor. Now in the North, that's not quite what they depended on. You saw the big cities. You saw the big cities like Boston and New York 
and there wasn't very m much of a plantation or a farm up there. It was mostly a city, so they definitely depended on industry type work for their economy. Now, the northerners, they were known as abolitionists, which are people who believed that slavery was wrong. And they thought they thought that slavery should be illegal over the entire United States. Like there's no picking and choosing, just get rid of it altogether. And oh, excuse me, there were a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of significant figures who contributed to saving people and allowing them to cross over from a slave state to a free state so that they could become a free man, which is what the verbiage is, is a free man. And we'll go more into that though. So the next point is Kansas. Now the state Kansas. Kansas was where a lot of the issue of slavery kind of first like boiled up because of the fact that Kansas was like 50-50. Half of them were for slavery, half of them were against slavery. And so when the federal government passed the Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854, this gave the state the chance to figure out and vote, okay, which one do we want to be? Do we want to be a slave state or do we want to be a free state? Then we're on to Lincoln. Now we're really starting to tip, get the tip of the iceberg. We're really starting to hit the top now. Now Lincoln, he was elected as president of the United States in 1860. Now, he was a member of the new anti-slavery Republican Party, and it was actually pretty amazing how he became president because his name was not on many, many of the southern states' ballots. So it was kind of like, whoa, everybody in the northern states had to have voted for him for it to outweigh the southern states, which goes back to the issue of state rights and state and the growth of the United States, because certain states were up with the north and some were down with the south and their growth depended on who could control the presidency or who could really vote for who they wanted to or who they really wanted to be in office. Then we are finally at the tippy toppy point where, yep, it's going to happen. Secession, which I have a typo, excuse me, it's S E C C E S S I O N. My bad. We're all human, we make mistakes. Even, even teachers make typos. So there is secession. Now, like I said, this was the, this was the of the whole point. So there were several southern states that decided that they no longer wanted to be a part of the United States because the North had all the power and they elected a president who was anti-slavery and they were just, they were over. So they were like, you know what? Bye. See ya. Later, alligator and a wild crocodile. We're out. We're seceding. We are getting, we are leaving. We are getting away from you. Now they had the, they thought that they had the right to leave. However, of course, there's a difference in that thought when it comes to the northern states and when it comes to Lincoln. Lincoln was like, uh, you don't have the right to leave. You're a part of the United States. That, is, that don't make sense. No, no. Are you kidding me? So what happened was, was since Lincoln felt this way, he sent in troops to stop the South from leaving, which ultimately is what started the Civil War. Dun, dun, dun. Crazy, I know. But now that we've gone over and we kind of reviewed the reviewed the causes of the Civil War, now we can kind of do a little sneak peek of what you're going to learn as we go through this week of the Civil War. Now, I didn't want to put too many bullets because the Civil War's got a lot going on. There's a lot of battles. There's a good chunk of people that you need to know about. So I just wanted to give you a preview that you know this week you're gonna learn about all the events that happened during the civil war which battle caused this you know which which incident like the gettysburg address you know you're gonna learn different significant events that happened during the civil war excuse me you're also gonna learn about the significant people and what they contributed to the civil war so like you kind of already got an insight into lincoln last week 
And but this week you're going to learn a little bit more about how Lincoln was during the Civil War. You got a little bit of how he was before and how he contributed to it. But now you're going to get a little bit into the more the more chunk of what he gave to us. You're also going to learn who led the southern side. You're going to learn who leads the north. You're going to learn who the president was for the, the southern states because they technically split up from the United States. And you're just you're going to see a lot, a lot. So that's why, again, I did not want to put it all on this one little slide for you guys. But I want to talk a little bit about what I have for your assignment today. So your assignment was, of course, first watching this video and getting a little bit of review from last week and getting a little preview of this week. But you guys are going to go and get on Brain Pop and you're going to watch the Civil War movie that I have for you guys. I really, really love Brain Pop and I love how Tim and Moby explain all of these. And I think it's going to be perfect for you guys. So I want you to go get on Brain Pop and complete the Civil War assignment. Then you're going to take a quiz on that movie just so I can see how well you understood what it all was. So I can know if I need to kind of meet with you and explain it a little bit better or just a little bit more. And then you're going to kind of complete a little game that goes over the Civil War. I played this game. I thought it was so cool and I wanted you guys to start your Monday off in a little positive way and just kind of like brush off the weekend a little bit, but still kind of, you know, ease into it. So you're going to play a game for today and I'm kind of excited because I actually liked the game. So we will see about that. All right, my friends, as per usual, if there is anything that you guys need, just let me know and I will be here to help you. I will do my best to respond as quickly as I can. Just be patient with me, my sweet friends, and I hope you guys have a happy Tuesday. Day. Almost threw me off. I thought it was Monday. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.